Picking up where we left off, we just finished k-mapping segment D with this output. Now if we come up here and we look at segment D, look, D is 0, E is 0. D is 1, E is 1. D is 1, E is 1 here. D is 0, E is 0. And then we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Now there's no others over here that are the same. The D and E are also the same. Okay, so those are the same. So that helps us out. So D and E are the same. So we don't have to K-map them. Alright, so let's go up here. We're going to K-map F now. So go ahead and K-map F. So similar fashion, I'm going to fill this in. 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Okay, we have zero, uh, 1 and 0 here. 1 and 0. Sorry, this is F. 1 and 0. Careful on 4 and 5. This is 0 and 1. And we have 6 and 7. This is 0 and 1. Alright, so let's take a look at what we have here. This guy's got to stand alone again. This guy can share with this guy. And we have these two guys that can go together. Okay, so let's take a look at what F is going to be. F is going to be A, B, C bar. There's nothing we can do to simplify this guy. Or, let's take a look at this first vertical one here in red. It has to be C, but we don't care if it is B or B bar. So this is A, C. Then we have the last one. This is the blue wrap around here. It has to be C, but we don't care if it is a bar or A, we know that it has to be B, bar, and C. So that's our simplification of F. Let's, lastly, let's take a look at G. Okay, segment G, we have 1, 1. Okay, then we have 0, 1. We're going to look at 4 and 5. We're careful on here. This is 0, 0. Then we have 6 and 7, which are 0 and 1. Okay? So let's take a look, see what we can round up. We have these two that can go together. And we have these two that go together. Alright, so if we look at segment G, segment G, okay, it can be C bar or C, so we don't really care. Without those, we care that it has to be A bar, B bar. This guy over here, it has to be C. So we don't care if it's A or A bar, but it does have to be B. So this is or B, C. Great. So now we have all of our segments K-mapped. We ended up not needing these two over here for C and E because they are duplicates. So next, we're going to have to build our logic design. So this is what we're going to run with. Remember, we are doing a common anode where zeros turn it on, ones turn it off, and everything is K-mapped. So the next video, we'll talk about doing the AOI logic behind all of this because some things that you want to note is notice that this has A bar, B, C bar. This has A bar, B, C bar. So does this guy. Okay, and this guy. So we can make sure we don't have to re-breadboard uh, those. We can use the signal output from here and distribute it to all of these. It's a huge advantage. We also want to notice, look, this has A, B bar. This one has A, B bar. And we can share that signal as well. So we really want to make our breadboarding much more simplified. But there's a way of taking our seven segment display what we want the output to read, and k-mapping to simplify our logic design.